Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching Julio how to use his new credit card and all about credit scores, all the info that I know to make sure he doesn't mess up my credit <laughs> and his too. So stay tuned guys. All right, so guys, I'm making this video because I officially made Julio an authorized user on my credit card. So instead of just being like, here, here's a credit card, use it how you want. No, 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 you are not messing up my credit. I worked hard for it and I want to make sure that he's set up for success for our future when it comes to purchasing a home, buying a car, because I'm telling you now, having a credit card and your credit score is like top tier. Top tier meaning it's muy, muy importante. I need good credit for mm -hmm. buying whatever I want. Well, to buy like a house or like a car. So guys, we're gonna get into it because I wanna make sure he's set up for success, for our success in the future. And I think it's important for people to know because a lot of people may not know, especially coming from a different country. They come here and they're like, oh, credit card, free money? Like, no, 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 that's not how it works. So I want to teach Julio and, you know, I want to make a video for you guys to watch. And maybe you guys have tips and I may have tips that you guys didn't even know about. So stay tuned and watch this video. But... Have you subscribed to our channel? <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to our channel, guys. Click that red button right here. Subscribe to our channel to see all of our videos coming up. Are you ready? I'm ready, Tisha. Estoy listo. Estoy listo. Okay, and that's I'm are you ready. ready, guys, in Spanish. So, do you have your phone? You need your phone for this. Okay, first lesson. You get a credit card, right? They tell you how much you can spend on that credit card. So, let's say you ask the bank, hey, I wanna have a credit card. This is how much they're gonna tell you you can have, they're gonna put on the credit card. Let's just say, for now, it's gonna be 5,000. Okay. I'm okay. Ready? You have five thousand in your credit card. You can buy anything up to five thousand. You can't get anything more than five thousand. Okay. How do you say five thousand in? Cinco mil. Cinco mil, guys. Cinco mil. So I just told Julio, you know, five thousand, no more than five thousand. That's it. I have five. Don't 000? see. You see? No, 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 no. <laughs> Hell no. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. You have 5,000. Now, you have to think about not only your credit card, but also your credit score, because they come hands in hands. So, and guys, I am not a financial advisor. This is just research I've done on my own within like the last like three, four years, and it's worked for me. So, I'm gonna make sure, you know, it works for him too. So, okay. 5,000. You can only use, or I I only recommend people using 15 to 20 percent. So what you're gonna do is you have 5,000. Get your calculator ready. 15. It's gonna be 15 percent. Okay. So on the calculator is times 15 percent. How much is that? And guys, this is just examples. That's not saying that's how much we have. These are just examples. <laughs> okay, then you put times 5,000. And guys, do it along with us. I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys know a lot about, you know, credit scores and Five, I don't... Put 5,000 first. 
No, you don't put a zero. It's a comma, so you just put. Mm-hmm. No, it's not. Okay, that's how you do it. Now, times. Okay, equals what? 750. $750. I need spend only this. That's all I would say for you to spend. And that's only if you have that money. If you don't have $750, say for instance your paycheck is only $500, don't use $750 because you don't have $750. How much do you have? So you spend only... The, the place I work is giving me only uh, 500. 500. Mm-hmm. It's on the space for the place that 500. 500, that's it. Okay. And that's only if you don't have bills. If you have bills to pay, don't even think about it. It's going to be less than that. So your paycheck is 500. You can't use this amount. That means you should only use 500 or less because that's all that you can pay. Do you Do you guys understand? No, that's right like now, the basic. What do you think? Okay. The, the pay the money I have or I, or I working, mm-hmm. I have in my pocket, mm-hmm. is the pay the money I spend for the credit card. Yes, the money that you have in, I don't know if you guys understood, but the money that you have in in your pocket is what you should be spending. If you don't have that money, you shouldn't be spending it. Okay, this is, is, is give me 5,000. Yes. But right now, maybe my boy, I'm working, I, the work is giving me 1,000, 1,000. 1,000? That's fine. Then you can use the 750. That means you can use the 750. Now, Say for example, you want to pay your phone too on the credit card and you already spent 750. You can use 20%. I would say only for emergencies. So do 5,000 times 20%. How much is that? How much is it? 1,000. So that means you can use up to $1,000, no more than that. The reason why, and this is where, remember I was talking about credit score, this is what affects you getting a house, a car. If you use more than that, the bank will start decreasing your credit score. And I know that from experience, guys, that happened to me where I was just like, I'm just going to use a little bit more, or like max it out and then just pay it all back. What's your question, Mr. Suarez? Okay, right now, this is my point. You told me the 20% policy. The bank is giving me the credit card for 5000 mm-hmm. I spent the 5000 You can spend it. Mm-hmm. Two or three or four days. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it's making bees or making something. I put the five dollars again in one week. There's no problem, no? There's no problem, but it will decrease your credit score. How is the crazy? I put them back and in three days. And that the is a mystery to me too, but it what? happened to me. So this is why I don't recommend it. But like you said, if you have the money and it's an emergency and you need to use all of it, then use all of it. But this is my issue. You see, I put this five thousand again in one week. Not in 15 days or not in one way, but maybe four days, five days. Harry, this is not good for me for buy the house before with the grid, my, my credit, see, I put again. That's the thing. That's a mystery to me. I don't even know myself. That's why I only recommend using no more really than 15%, but if it's an emergency, it could be 20%. Just because you want to have a healthy credit score. Right? So, okay. right now, oh, actually, I shouldn't have erased that. Let me put it back. Okay, guys. I learned, I learned right. for my t shirt. All right, guys. I'm putting it back at 15% because I want to finish the first example. 
So now you can only use 750. Your bill is due every, every, let's say 17th of the month. So that means January 17th, February 17th, March, or April 17th, that's when you have to pay your credit card. That's when they're like, hey, we let you use this money because you're, the bank lets you borrow the money. This is not your money. Okay. So always remember that. Every 17th of the month, you have to pay the amount you spend. So say you use all the 750, right? So they're gonna tell you, hey Julio, you have to pay 750 on the 17th. You send me a message for this, huh? They'll send you a message. Sometimes they don't. If you don't pay on the 17th, they will make you pay extra. So I'm just gonna give an example. Times one, two, five percent. So now put 750. Guys, I'm hoping I'm teaching you guys too. And if you guys have any tips for us, let me know. I'm all about, you know, learning more about credit scores and you know how to like increase it and but I'm in a good place. <laughs> Percent. Oh. Okay. Okay, how much is that? This is nine nueve nine. Nine dollars. So let's just put nine dollars. Nine dollar three sixty five. So if you don't pay this, the seven fifty on the seventeenth, your bill is gonna be seven fifty nine. And it's gonna keep going up every time you don't and pay. You're not paying this, this this day. Yes, it's gonna keep going up. So it's better, and I always recommend to pay. Pay on time. Pay on time and pay everything. They're gonna tell you, oh, you only have to put twenty five dollars. No, put all of it. So if you use seven fifty and they tell you, Julio, just pay twenty five dollars. No, you pay the seven fifty. Well, He's not messing up my credit score, guys. <laughs> I have another question, teacher. You have another question? Okay, I okay. spent 750. Okay. The government is, is told me, no, you need to pay only 750, no? What are you? The government, wait, the, not the government, the, government, the, government, the bank. Uh, the government. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, the bank. The bank, okay, what happened? He's told me you need only pay 7, 700, no, 750. I so if you owe 750, you're saying? And the bank is telling you, hey Julio, just pay 700. Okay? Never do this. I pay all. They tell you to pay 700? No. Pay it all. Because what they're going to do, if you only pay 700, you see you owe 750. They're going to do 50 times 1.25%. So how much is that? 50. 25 percent mm -hmm. is 0, 60, 25. Okay, so it's less than it's less than a dollar, which is fine. But this is this is a low amount. Some banks they charge you higher depending on your credit score. Some banks won't even give you a credit score. I mean, a credit card if your credit score is very low, because you have to build trust. This is true. Confiance. This is as low right now. You take one year? Exactly. It builds. So that's why I always say pay it on time. Do not wait. Okay. okay. Any I other, learned, any I other questions before we move on? No, no, I'm good. I need well I need I need pay all. Oh. Guys, what do you how do you guys think I'm doing? Do you feel like I'm covering everything? If you have any advice, make sure to comment below. If you're liking this video so far, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Yeah, that one right now, so far, I... You understand? Yeah, I need to understand. You need to pay everything here. Yeah. You have to pay, yes, just pay it on time. So, by you doing that, you're paying on time. Say, for instance, your credit score is at 650. Just an example. You pay everything, you pay the 750 every month on time. Within a year, your credit, 
Your credit score could be 750. 800. See, I paid. On time. On time. Right. And this is why this I. Is, this is all the time, which is depends on the bank. Or oh, it's normal. You pay every every month or every day you give you the bank. Uh -huh. You pay in time this month, you spend. It's, it's, it's in crisis a little bit more, you, you credit or you have more money for Spain. Or yes, yeah. Well, not every time, but like maybe every three months, it'll increase it by a lot of points. Or it depends. It could be every month. I highly doubt it. I think it's like every two to three months to increase it. But the thing about it, if you don't pay and you have debt, if you don't pay the 750 on time and it keeps on getting higher, like the 759 and then it gets to 800, it's going to decrease your credit score fast. So it's hard for but it to go up, but it's very easy for it to go down. See? This is me, you know, the bank is, you go for the bank, hey, I need 3000 or for, he's not giving the money. So you don't have well a house if you wanted to buy a house for no. for like seventy five thousand, and your credit score is at 500 no your credit score needs to be at like a seven seven twenty five i would say for them to trust you and to get a good loan that's a that's another video that's another <laughs> yeah, right That's another video. That's a lot of information. I need to learn this. But you do know? you understand like the credit score and everything like that? Why it's important? It increases your credit score. And if you want to get this car that you really love, they'll trust you because they see that you have a great credit score and you yeah, have money. I like you know. Oh, what's your dream right? car? I don't what's know your dream car? Know. Tell me. Hmm? What's your dream car? The Jeep. Jeep. Jeep Wrangler? <laughs> Bomb. Yep. The car is like what? 65000 How much I need my credit for? If you have 725 as your credit, you're fine. You can get this car. But if it's at 500 good. they're going to make you pay even more for the interest to get the car. Which is, a, like I said, it's going to be a whole other story. So welcome, let's continue with the welcome credit. Welcome to the United States. Oh my God. Yes, welcome to the United States. All right, so the last thing I'm going to cover, guys, is when should you start using your credit card again after you pay off your bill? You ready? Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused. You, you told me, you told me. Okay. Today is September 17th. Okay. On the seventeenth, what is due? Your bill, right? Oh, <laughs> guys! <laughs> right now, I need to put an alarm. Seventeen is your bill. Yes. Yes. Bill. Yes. So, okay. so today is the seventeenth. Your bill is due. Say you used six twenty-five from your credit card. Okay. Okay? You paid it off. Okay, I paid all this. You paid money. it off, it's done. You don't owe anything else. Okay, all right. So that doesn't mean September 18, this the ocho, that you use your credit card again. Yes, guys, you don't use your credit card again. So don't use it again. What I do and what I recommend you to do and myself, well, we're on the, under the same account, but if you, ever, if you ever get your own account, like your own credit card with a different company, you would call them and be like, hey, when does my credit card statement go to the credit bureau? And they're gonna tell you, oh, we submit that, pay the report September 21st. I mean, wait all these days to use it again because when you pay it off, that means your balance is zero. You want the credit bureau to see that your balance is zero. So don't use your credit card again until September 21st or after. You see, I use a 
maybe September 20. What, so, what happened? So, you need to pay more? No, no, no. You don't have to pay more. But when you when you check your balance, it's going to say say for instance, you paid off the 625 on September 17th. September 18th, you bought something for $50. The credit bureau, remember the people that own your credit score and do all that with your credit score, they're gonna see the $50. They're not gonna see zero. They're not gonna see that you paid off the 625. They're gonna see the 50. You want them to see that you paid off all your mm -hmm. money, you have no debt, no debt whatsoever. So it should be zero. Okay. So you should wait until September 20, yes, to use your card again. Because by the time it clears, it's going to be 22, 23. September 22, 2nd or 23rd. Um, so that time, it'll be fine to use your credit card. Make sense? Yeah. All right. So give me a recap. What did I teach you? Yeah, she has my new phone. Well, I have to give and you pay all um, on time the money I is paying. Mm -hmm. But why Why should you pay it on time? Hmm? Why should you pay it on time? Because it increases my what is it? credit score. What? Credit score. It increases my credit, credit score. Sorry, score. Yes. By, do you know what I'm saying? By the house, the car. Yes. In this class, guys, I need pay on time, you know? You need to pay on time. You're my authorized user, so if you don't pay on time and you spend a lot of money and you don't have it, that means you're putting not only you in debt, but you're putting me in debt. Oh, shh. Mm -hmm. You, know, you don't want to be in debt with me. Okay, guys, you see, you don't subscribe. You have time for subscribing. Subscribe to our channel, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be giving Julio more lessons because I feel like this is important to know. Yeah, and, so and if you, know. you guys learned something from this, let me know below. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. I just do my own research and I, you know, I do what works for me. So, I'm hoping it helps you guys. Oh, it's very good. I understand more, you know, how is the. The credit score. And yeah. Next is like debit cards. Guys, I'm gonna. He's nice. gonna learn a lot, a lot. And you're gonna learn with us. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. We guys. love you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I love you guys. So, what did you think about what I taught you today? I know nothing. <laughs> Not today. Not today.